I mean, I've been eating it since Saturday, and it's so good. Mm. Make and sing and share and cooking tutorial. Welcome, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the Sauce Doctor. We are take over tonight. Sauce Doctor, Sauce Doctor. Welcome back to Adrian. Cooking and food review. Wagwan Sauce Doctor fam. Welcome back to another video. Happy Tuesday. So today we have a half a jerk chicken cooked in the air fryer. We have some two times spicy cheesy noodles. And then we're drinking some homemade peach lemonade. All right, let's pray and then we're going to dig in. Most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before in your presence, so that bless the food, bless the hands I prepared. Let it be of nourishment to my body. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. All right, so before we get started, let me grab them. So we have two sauces now. We have the pineapple jalapeno and the sauce doctor jerk sauce. So if you want any of these, DM me on Instagram at sauce doctor. Or email me at saucedoctor at gmail.com. All right? So, promotion out the way. Let's get something to drink. Let's hope I don't spill any of this drink. And I spilled. Mm -hmm. I knew I would. I knew I would. All right? Let's drink. Cheers. Mm. So good. All right, let's start out with some noodles for. I didn't bring the chopsticks today because now I embarrass myself at all. These are good, but they are spicy. This chicken is so hot. So hot. There's some sauce back to back here, so. Mm. Hmm. Buy me just here for what I'm um. So we got some crystal hot sauce. So this was like, you gotta try it, Adrian. And I've been eating it since the other day. And it's so good. Mm. Wow. So this chicken is basted in the sauce doctor. So good. And then we have that fish down. Mm -mm. Mm. Wow. This peach lemonade is slapping. Mm. 
And I tell you, this chicken is so tender and hot. Wow. So good. You know what, let's pour the ice in the bigger glass and just drink from that one. <laughs> wow. Whew. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about today, but we're going to find something to talk about. Yes, we are. This chicken is so moist. And down the liquor. Put them. That crust on that skin. Mm. Mm -mm. So good, so good. Wow. Whew. Let's get that sauce, doctor. And it look at that. Absolutely delicious. Wow. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start telling you to drop topics down in, the down in the comment section where we talk about. Because I think sometimes Something that I don't remember, so it's easier to plan ahead. Mm. Whew. 
All right, so <laughs> y'all know I always bring it back to. All right, let's see what we can talk about. What can we talk about? What can we talk about? What can? All right. <laughs> um, so as a lot of you may know or may not know, um, my mom raised us to be independent. And not even just being independent, but being accountable. So I remember when I was a young child growing up around like six, seven. Sorry. And every day I used to go outside, play outside, and I used to get really, really dirty. And my mother said to me at six, seven, she said to me, she said, Adrian, you have two choices. Is either you're going to stop going to do and get dirty, or you can't stop washing your clothes. And I was like, well, you know, the child you be, you want to be playing outside, right? So every day I go to the dog and play, I say, man, you know what my mother do? My mother no wild on me, as I would say in Jamaica. When me done dirty up the clothes and things, say, hey, everything good, mother go wash. My mother say, boy, get in front of the pan. Come. But then we didn't have any washing machine. So we used to have to get pan. Soap and washing brush. And go scrub the clothes. Them. See if the clothes are not 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 not, not clean. Mm -hmm. She so put in a dirt. Yeah, go back and wash him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my mother was very strict on those four. And then when we used to go to school. She always give us a set time to come back one. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if some of you know. But the school system in Jamaica. Is totally different from here in America. There is no school bus. For the most part your parents now drop you off at school and pick you up. So, you just have to take public transportation. Mm. To go to school. And you see, if my mother say I must reach home by, this is school over 2.30. And you say you must reach home. It's only like 10 minutes for you to get home. And you say you must reach home by 2.45. Now you not reach home. <laughs> A murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. <laughs> mm. That's not literal though. But you would get a whooping. You would get a whooping. Mm-mm. She don't play him. My mother say him. May I teach him the punctuality. May I teach him discipline for now. Because when you grow up, when you have an embarrassment. And I think that was very important for us to learn those lessons. <clears throat> Sorry. Because we knew if we didn't get home on time, it would be a whooping. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. But the real question is, do you think that you frightening your child that, you know, if you're going to reach by this thing, you're going to get a whooping? Mm. 
do you think it helped them to stay on track <clears throat> or do you just think it's a bad idea but for that reason so in school over I mean, I have no time for Tarina. If I walk me up a walk go, I'm hitting that road because I know when I reach home, it's going to be a whooping. So by the hook or the crook, I got to make it home in time. Maybe that wasn't entertaining for you to understand, but I'll give you a little bit of backstory of how I grew up. My belly full. I drink nice. Whew. Sorry. But guys, this has been a delicious meal. We have a little conversation so you get a little bit of backstory of how I was raised. You know, um, this channel is all about you getting to know me a little bit better through conversations. You get to hear my point of view. I get to hear how I grew up, how I learned, started learning how to cook. So if you want to know a backstory of how I started cooking and all those stuff, let me know down in the comment section below. We can make it happen. I know I have a lot of new subscribers who have not heard about my whole business journey because I had a restaurant. So if you want, I can pin those links to those videos. And you can go back and see that. Or we can talk about it briefly again. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as always say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they want to be a part of this fun and personality. Please don't click out the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only silly mukbang. Thank you. Thank you for today. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.